Hi everyone, Pam Kinneberg here with BasePaint.com and today we're going to talk about loading a one stroke. Um, it's a big learning curve to doing this correctly and I'm just going to give you a few pointers. So I'm going to start out with some water, a paper towel, a one stroke, um, which is only three colors, and two brushes, one three-fourths inch, which is the craze brush, and see it can cover only a, a, a select portion of this. I do use that one more often than this one inch brush. This covers the whole thing. Depends on how much space you're working with on the face. So we're going to go ahead and, you, and, and load the brush. We're going to dip it in the water and then um, brush off um, a, a good amount of the water before you start. Then when you are dragging your brush across, I take it across at an angle and um, not straight up and down. And I just do strokes across and one way and then I turn or I just flip my brush and then I do strokes the other way. And I keep doing these sort of um, almost parallel strokes and um, making sure my colors are lined up until I feel I have a good load. And there you can see the colors, you can see the dark, the middle color, and the white. So that's a really good load. And um, now I'm gonna take my one inch brush and um, again, don't put too much water on it. If you have too much, it'll pool and mess the paint up. And if you don't have enough, it'll feel a little sticky on the paint. So tap just the end of the brush in to get it a little more wet. Tap it on my towel and keep going in that um, filling motion um, back and forth. And then when you put it on, um, you have, again, you can see your dark purple, your uh, middle purple, and your white. Now here's what not to do. You see I got too much water in there. It's pooling all over. It's mixing colors together. And I'm just flip-flopping really my brush around. And so I go to put it on and all of the colors are mixing together. So you don't have a nice white in there anymore and um, it's just a mess. One way to clean that up if that happens to you is take a baby wipe and put it over the top and press it into it and then you will get it looking like new again and you can start over. There you go. Perfect. Back to perfection. Now I'm going to take a uh, rainbow cake. This is the Girly Girly Rainbow Cake by Craze. And I'm gonna take my one inch brush and again, load my brush with water, brush a bit off, and then start with that um, forward and backward motion with the brush laying at about a 45 degree angle. And as you go across, you see all the colors are separated into individual colors. Um, now I'm taking my 3 fourths inch brush and doing the same um, and running that across and you can see all of the colors in that rainbow cake. Now if I have too much water and I'm like flip flopping my brush, do you see how that looks all greenish gray? Now it's a really dull rainbow cake and that's no good at all. And then you think, well I'm going to go back in and do it again and the colors just mix even worse. So now you've just got a really grayed out dull rainbow. So um, the less you stroke across a rainbow cake with this many colors in it, the better. So get your brush to the right consistency before you start loading it. 